entire tribe must not be put in danger because of the defiance of one person. You must forget about him. He was a wild spirit. And this was always to be his fate. You talk as if he's already dead. Even if he does survive this time, he's a greener. So it's time to set your sights elsewhere for a husband. I'll never set my sights elsewhere. This is all the medicine I can find. I'm sorry. The gods took your father in the night. We stay here. There'll never be enough to eat. Never. There may be other places we could live. Places where the food is more plentiful. All they would take is for one of the demons to follow you back from the forbidden land, and we'd all be struck down. Have you ever seen one? Have you? Has anyone here ever seen one? A demon! Uh, a monster! A beast! Yeah! The stories are true. The gods used to live in this world. They watched over and protected man, but man grew selfish and cruel. So the gods left, allowing the demons to descend from the sky. The survivors, we must dedicate our lives to pleasing the gods, so that one day they will come back and drive away the demons. That is our fate. You don't think I can handle myself out there as well as a man? No, I don't. You arrogant greener. I think you can handle yourself better than most men. Which is why you need to stay and help with the village. You know, your mother gave this to me before she died. She hoped it would be passed down to your children. It's for good luck. Better not let anything happen to you out there. beast we're all afraid of.
Not a lot of meat on that dragon. I see. You have been fortunate in the hunt. I hope you thank the gods. Looks like a non-believer. I believe what I can see. Non-believer, huh? You from the caves? You've probably never seen a god. Would you like to see one? What do you know about gods? We have seen gods. Rock and I both. You lying thieves. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We were hunting. We have no time to show you gods because we have no food. We need food. We must hunt. Non-believer. Wait. First you show me the god, then we eat. Look, frozen ones. The way to the great god village is marked by these frozen ones. The gods left this world. They ordered man not to look at them. Those that disobeyed were frozen in place for all of eternity. When the gods lived here, they could fly through the air. They drive the chariots in front of special caves with golden arches. Golden. And the food would magically appear. Magic. Here. The gods weren't allowed to fall in love with mortal women. But this one did. It was left behind, frozen as punishment. sure this thing was a god? I thought you said you believe what you can see. If you need more proof, when the sun goes down, you can see the rest of the gods in the night sky. They're the bright lights up there watching down on us. Oh, no, come, come. The evil beasts hunt in the dark. We need to find shelter now. There's a cave. Look at those poor bastards now. They really, really angered the gods. Carlo, let's eat. Greener. The grass is always greener on the other side. Always looking for something better. Something out there. Maybe she was right. <clears throat> Thought stone. Sharp. No, you keep it. You keep it. Where we're from, a good woman? It's a hard thing to find. So if you were stupid enough to leave a perfectly good woman behind, why don't you tell me where she is? So I can go get her for myself, huh? No. Oh. Oh. Oh.
Responsible for allowing this man animal to run around unsupervised. The man animal shot the Wrangler, sir. I'm a little pressed for time. Why don't you save the going away jokes for later? No oh, jokes, sir, I swear. The man animal somehow got a hold of his gun. Really? Show me. Sir. Reach for the gun. Sir, I might get shot. Sure, you might. And I might suddenly grow a third arm. But, sir, I swear it shot the Wrangler. The report filed today still has my name on it. And you are out of your skull bone if you think that I'm going to write on the report shot by man animal as the cause of death unless I see it. If I obey your command, I may get killed. And if you don't, it's a certainty that you will be killed. Reach for the gun.
Italia. It is a pleasure to see you, Your Excellency. And I would be honored to expedite your clearance through security. Please, call me Z. Does all the Earth look like this? Oh, I'm afraid so, sir. Pathetic. All the green and the blue sky. They told me this planet was ugly, but this has got to be one of the ugliest crap holes in the entire universe. I couldn't agree with you more. I hate these puny, undersized planets. The yeah. gravity is so different. Well, one does get used to it. And the human animals, grossly undersized. They don't make very good eating, Your Excellency. Ah, yes. My executive assistant, Kerr. Thank you. He has been fully trained to replace me as chief of security as soon as my transfer goes through. Well, Kerr, once we finish mining out this miserable little planet, let's do the universe a favor. Let's exterminate a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're too much! So they tell me. Please, come this way. <laughs> Our spy satellites recorded those images. What is this species? Well, according to the Klinko historians, the species is called dog. Dog. Yes. Obviously, the superior race, having the man-animal chauffeur it around. Yes, oh. well, dogs did prove to be more cooperative than the man-animals. For some reason, they weren't as useful when it came to manual labor. I am honored by your visit, Your Excellency. Well, thank you, Planet Ship. You'll be pleased to know that I've approved additional labor resources. I'll have them sent here by the end of quarter cycle. Thank you, Your Excellency. Now, let's see. <clears throat> oh, your long overdue <laughs> transfer. You must be looking forward to getting off this disgusting excuse of a planet. I just want to do whatever serves the corporation best, sir. Very admirable. And I must say, you've done a first-rate job here as interim security chief. <laughs> I do what I can. Which is why we've decided to keep you on for another tour of service. There must be some mistake. Oh, home office does not make mistakes. Of course not. But have you looked at my file, sir? It explicitly says that this is a temporary assignment. Yes? Are you not aware that I graduated top of my class? Quite an accomplishment. I don't mean to second guess the home office. But surely I could be of better service to the corporation. Home office is well aware of your academic achievements and obvious talents. That's why we've decided not to keep you here for another five cycles. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. I, I don't know if I could have kept my sanity to be here another five cycles. We've decided to keep you here for another 50 cycles. With endless options for renew. With endless options for renew. With endless options for renew. <laughs> those options, of course. Those options, of course, being at home office's discretion, not yours. Senator has a lot of friends, has a lot of friends. Would you please tell the Senator that if I had even an inkling that that was his daughter... Watch your tongue! The Senator's exact words to me were, and I'm quoting, that blasted Terrell tries to talk his way out of it, and then vaporized on the spot. But cheer up. There's one bright side to this. One day, you're going to die. And when you end up in hell, at least it'll be a step up from this place.
recycling. Oh. Your powers of observation are simply startling. Give me three pans to go. I don't know what you're so down about. You still get to be head of security, which, from what I can tell, is a pretty cushy job. Well, I can assure you that I was not groomed since birth to have some cushy job that even a moron like you could perform <laughs> while you were still learning how to spell your name. I was being trained to conquer galaxies. And to do anything less is a disgrace to my entire family line. That'll be six credits. Put it on my tab. But you don't have a tab. I do now. So I'll explain how it works. I eat first. Then, my men eat. If there's anything left, you can share it with the rest of them. That's how it used to work. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. Let's just stay alive. You right. So I'll fight you. Oh, oh. If we don't get food, we don't have strength to escape. So no we're escaping. I am. You come with me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Fight to the Without killing each other over food. From now on, we eat at the same time. I was wondering when you were going to look at that. You came in last week, and I put it right in your box. I've wasted my time, haven't I? Sir? If you're going to lie to me, at least have the decency to do a credible job, so I don't look like a complete idiot for having tried to train you. I'm not lying, sir. I put the photo in your box as soon as it came in, sir. You are pathetic. You wouldn't last one day at the Academy. And I saw you. What? You said we use picto cameras to spy on other offices. But under no circumstance do we spy on our own office. That's right. We don't. I do. Start talking. The photos from last week's recon drone. It shows a rock slide in the mountains. It exposed to go away. And you were waiting for me to be transferred so you could turn it in and get all the credit for yourself. I didn't think you'd mind. I don't mind. 
Turn it in. But before you do, pretend that you're not a complete imbecile and check the compo gradients. Warning. The mountain is full of uranium. No cyclo can get there without us. Breath, gas, explode. There's no way to mine the coals. But what I do mind is that you betrayed me over a lousy recon photo. What is worthless, you said so yourself. But you didn't know it was worthless. I would never hurt you, sir. I'm unarmed. You can't shoot me. It's against regulation, sir. I can make this up to you. I promise, I swear. Please, sir. Just you do not have to shoot me, sir. <laughs> shoot you, my most trusted colleague. We have work to do. Come. Tomorrow morning, we must warn the planet ship of the mutiny. What mutiny? The one that you're going to pretend is in the works, like your life depended on it. Because it does. If the worker revolt takes place, my informants tell me that the first order of business is to separate you from your head. Which is why there will be no revolt. I am authorizing you to use whatever means necessary to prevent it. Well, the best way to stop it is to increase profits and stop cutting the workers' pay. Production equals profits. And I've already ordered as many new workers as possible to boost production. But we have to pay the new workers. Maybe you were absent the day they taught economics at the academy, Kerr. Mm. But nobody works for free. Man, animals do. What if we were to train them how to mine? <laughs> Man, animals, operating machinery. <laughs> Have you blown a head gasket? <laughs> I will be the laughing stock of the universe. Which is why you should have me take a group of man animals with equipment out to a remote area, better that you don't know where, and try and train them. Have them do some test mining. That way, if it doesn't work out, no one will know. <laughs> right. And if it does work, I will be vaporized. It is against the law. According to regulations, a planet ship faced with a profit-threatening situation is relieved of all other ordinances to pursue, to protect, and to acquire said profits. And there you have it. We stick to the original plan. Bring in new workers, and they go on half pay as soon as they arrive. And that is final.
his breath mask off. <laughs> Last time we didn't even stop timing until his lungs burst. That's the wager. <laughs> Lasts more than four minutes. Find out what it is. Then we'll have leverage over him. And then we can get the gold. What do you mean, we? It's my plan. I'm sending the gold to Cyclo, then I'm getting off this stinking planet. Oh, come on, sir. <laughs> you gotta let me in on it. I barely make any lousy credits in this job, and I've got five wives to support, <sighs> sir. I don't know if I want to partner up with an idiot. How do I even know that you understand the plan? We train man animals who don't need breath gas to mine the gold for us. The home planet owns this planet. The gold belongs to them. That's the beauty of it. Home planet doesn't even know the gold exists. So those corporate crapheads won't even know we stole it. It's the perfect crime, sir. Putting aside the serious violations of teaching mining to an inferior race and insulting corporate superiors, each one in itself punishable by death, so it is my duty to report you even though you'll be vaporized and I will have to train a new assistant. But it's your stinking plan, sir. That's right. That's why I'm glad I have a picked up recording of you laying out the plan and my reprimanding you for it. Think of it as part of your education. Education. Never engage in a criminal activity unless you have a patsy to pin everything on. In case you ever get found out. Thank you. That's great. Why do I have to be the patsy, sir? So you don't get any bright ideas about getting rid of old Terrell and keeping all the gold for yourself. But I would never double-cross you, sir. Of course not, because I've already arranged that if any unfortunate accident were to befall me, this would go straight to the home office. Nothing I can blow off one of its limbs without missing. <sighs> that one does seem to be unusually intelligent and resourceful. But it's also defiant. Which means we'll need leverage over it. Yeah. Over a man. A man is a primitive species. So we'll need something primitive for leverage. Like food. What do you think a man animal would like to eat? 
What do you think he would consider a treat? What crap should I know? There's no way of knowing that, sir. Hmm. Well, before we educate it on a learning machine, we'll take it to the mountains, along with a couple of the others. Let them think they've escaped. And then we'll sit back and watch it choose its favorite food. Yes. Yeah. Now that the man animals feel that they have a safe enough distance from us, soon they'll find their favorite food and celebrate. their favorite food. Of course it is. They could have selected anything they wanted. But it's not even cooked. If man animal prefers its rat uncooked, then our job is that much easier. If they like their rat so much, how come those two aren't eating? Don't you know anything? The leader of the pack always eats first. See? about the button camera. Don't be a knothead. It's a man animal. You couldn't possibly know about it. Uh, you sure call that one, sir. No way they know about the big toe camera. Look out, fat ass, and let's go round them up. Crap, oh, lousy ceiling. I thought I told you to get some man animals in here and fix it. Think about it. You wouldn't live the jump. You wouldn't live the jump, Johnny. You wouldn't live the jump. You can surrender and rot in those cages if you want no. to. That's your choice. But I'm not going back. Throw the monsters catch us. They're just going to take us to the mines. Ah! No! I do and you'll be fine. Don't touch anything. Get these creatures mad with what they'll do to all of us.
Excuse me, but I am your instructor if you will forgive such arrogance, for I do not have the honor to be a cyclone. I am but a lowly Kinko language slave. As you are listening to me, I most likely do not exist, as we may have been exterminated, like many other races, by the gas drones of our conquerors. Please forgive my pretension as I try to educate you in Cyclone, the noble language of our superiors. Understand? You, you under, understand me? Are you hungry, little fella? Yes? Obviously, this is going to take a while. You know, no, they call themselves cyclists. What did they do to him? They, they made him look into a light, and, and it's a god machine. No, it teaches. It's a knowledge machine. It sends pictures through your head just so fast. Okay. Spinning. Come on, let's go. Johnny, come on. No, no, I can't. I have to stay. I have to learn more about them. This may be, this may be our only way out of here. <laughs> This is the monster's language. No, 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 no. This, 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 this is mathematics. This is this is the unifying language of the entire universe, Nikki. Look, this symbol is called a triangle. If all the sides are equal, then these three angles must also be equal. Uh, equal to what? To each other. It's the basic foundation of Euclidean geometry. Seems pretty hard to understand. No, no, only at first. Then it becomes clearer in your mind. See, I learned something called molecular biology. This, this is the symbol for water. And, and engineering. See, a wing, see? And, and line, and form, and artistic composition. You see, this, this is a square, like a cage. I thought we were supposed to be working on stuff to help us escape. This will. All this will. combination code and uh, do not use a personal or employee identification number. What's an identification number? Uh, there, right there. How many numbers is that? Eight. Eight? Eight. 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 I guess the creature's more clever than that. The question is how clever. Try the numbers backwards. Oh. Look at 
this? It's a recording machine. <laughs> This is how he watches us. Chrissy, stop! What if he's not dead? Hope is an admirable quality, but foolish isn't. I can't give you permission to go out there and get yourself killed. I don't need your permission. I'm no longer a child. a man-animal thing to learn a language as sophisticated as Cyclo. What if it can understand Cyclo and it's just pretending that it can? What the hell would it do that for? I don't know. Maybe it's secretly listening, trying to get leverage over on us. Man, we're getting leverage over Cyclo. That'll be the day. <laughs> Whoa, what if this one is particularly stupid? Maybe we should try to train another one. No, there's no time. As soon as they detect the gold, the planet ship will know exactly what we're doing. We'll have to terminate the operation and cover our tracks. Grand could do like this day. What is that? What's that? It's scary. It's Cyclo. Cyclo. Go on, say something else. You're gonna stay here as my prisoner. While you, you go and get a transporter. <laughs> Just because you've learned Cyclo doesn't mean you've become one. If you don't follow my orders, I'll have you killed. <laughs> How exactly do you plan to do that? Sorry. If any of you rat brains knew anything about firearms, you would know that you never store loaded weapons. You drop them now. You drop them or I won't mine an ounce of your gold. I'll have you vaporized and I'll find someone else to mine the gold. You don't have time. You can't hide this from home office forever. A man getting leverage over a cyclo. That'll be the day. I think it's time that we show our little friend a thing or two. cling to the feeble hope that you could ever get the better of me, you'll be distracted from the more important things that have to be done, which is exactly why I share the following with you. When we attacked your planet, all your soldiers and all their advanced technology could only put up a measly nine-minute fight before they were exterminated, which is why man is an endangered species. Everything you humans knew is here. And you can look at anything you want. Because there is nothing that will help you.
satisfied. Yes. I have one more demonstration for you and your little friend. You will soon be relocated to a new mining site. And if any of you get any bright ideas about escaping, just keep in mind that although you know nothing about firearms, I certainly do. I graduated top marksman in my class, and I can kill any one of you at over a thousand paces. Tell them what I've said. You try to run, he'll kill us. That's it? Yes. Allow me to demonstrate. Let's give this demon what it deserves. Shoot! Yeah. I destroy it! Shoot! Shoot! Why'd you wait? Kill it! Kill it! And then we'll run! We'll run! Then what? What kind of life is it to run? Always living in fear of being hunted? What about the others we're leaving behind? What about them? There's nothing, nothing we can do for them. Only the gods can free oh, them. Oh, you think the lights in the night sky are gods waiting to come down and save us? Do you? Those are planets! Planets like this one. The great villages were built by our people. By millions of men and women just like us. Who are willing to fight to the death for one thing above all else. Their freedom. Do you think no one has tried? You can't defeat them. You can't defeat them. You can't defeat them. You can't defeat them. Can't defeat them. That is our fate. Is our fate. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. But well, we have to go back. We go back and we learn about their weapons and their machinery. Our race is slowly dying and will soon be gone forever. Let it be said that we took this one chance and fought! Are you with me? Yeah! yeah. You with me? Yeah! yeah. yeah. We fight! Let's do it! Yeah! If you're fighting the beast, me and my men are with you. Thank you. It's good to have friends out here. May the gods be with you. Fire! Surely someone as wise as you has ways to stop me from shooting. I know that if I had tried, you would have killed me first. Damn right, rat brain. That's the first intelligent thing you've said yet. <gasps> this break is over. <sighs> There's something I need you to see. It's imperative that you are properly motivated. You don't know her? No, I don't know her. In fact, she's one of the foulest looking females I've ever seen. While I tend to agree, it's obvious that man animals show a lack of aptitude for strategic deception. On the other hand, what you show marginal proficiency at is drawing. This was found on her when she was collected. The collar around her neck has enough explosive to remove her head from her body. And this remote will activate the explosive from anywhere on the planet. So if you choose to disobey me, let me show you what will happen. Please, please don't harm her. I believe you are. Oh, don't worry, rat brain. Every collar has its own frequency. I'm not going to blow up your little female friend. Just, uh... This one. You've made your point, Sammy. I said I would mine your gold. Please, don't kill him. Please. Fine. As a gesture to our new working relationship, I will grant you this one request. I won't kill him. But you may never 
ask of me anything again. I promise. As I've said, I won't kill him. Pleasure. Humans. shoulders waiting for the cyclists to hunt us down. I think that is not living either. We all chose to fight. knows how to speak the Cyclops language. He's gonna help us fight him. She's soon to be newly acquired secretary. Yes. Really? She's stupid enough not to be a menace, good looking enough to be decorative. She gets drunk with economical speed and has other advantages. Oh, I can see that. Don't you have some work to do? No. Kerr? All right, sir. Now listen, Missy. I'm still waiting for the planet ship's accounts. I had to go way beyond the call of duty to get these. I see. Well, that's why I especially chose you. So you'll keep your side of the bargain? The, which was? You said we were going to have a huge house when we go back to Cyclo next year. We're going to be rich, right? Right. I am going to make you as happy as a baby cyclo on a straight diet of her bango. <laughs> well, isn't it interesting that you have been keeping two sets of books and telling all the workers that the planet has been operating at a loss? I, I only claimed that it was running at a loss to try and 
It motivates them all to work harder. Yes, of course. And it had nothing to do with the fact that it could allow you to cut the workers' pay and keep all the extra credit for yourself. Did it? That. Well, I, I can explain well, unfortunately, that. the company requires me to vaporize you. But on the other hand, I could understand someone in your situation being old and having no future. You could come up with creative ways to solve your financial problems. Y you can? Oh, yes. It's really of no interest to anybody to have you not be Planet Ship, but... But it would be prudent of you to start to share your authority. But these forms are all blank, undated. You, you could put anything you wanted on them. You would run the entire planet. And I would be nothing. But a puppet. Well, if you don't want to do it that way, we could always do it by the book. What the hell does the planet ship need with all this mining equipment? But that's not even the crazy part. He has ordered me to take a group of man animals out to a remote area with the equipment to see if they can be trained to mine. Man animals being able to mine. Yes. <laughs> the old cyclo has gone completely insane. <laughs> Indeed. But what can I do? An order is an order. <sighs> mm. You have a busy day, Rat Brain. First learning how to fly, and then onto the learning machine for mining techniques. Friend, and your little friend will no longer be among the living. <laughs> Again. Again!
Watch your side. That's good. Good, good, good. Oh, 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 oh. What about the uh, big ugly who's watching us with that eye in the sky? Oh, look. Here, here's the men. Right? We split them in half, and one group goes, and one group stays, and it looks as if we're still working. If we don't have the gold in 14 days to Terrell, then he's just gonna kill us. Right, but I read about a place called Fort Knox where the gold has already been mined. Listen, there will be no mining, but we are gonna deliver it. Okay, so, so, we have to pretend that we're mining the gold. We have to figure out where we're gonna get the gold. Then we have to get the supplies to help our revolt. Yeah. Great, we have uh, barely enough men to do one of those things, let alone all three. It's good to have friends on the outside, eh? <laughs> <laughs> If you could just keep your eyes open, that would be a great help. Look for ocean. If you see any, we've gone too far. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, I think we've crossed over into Washington. No, we're still in Colorado. What? That's impossible. No, don't watch him. We haven't crossed this line, I you're, swear. You're not paying attention. Carlo, you let him navigate. You watch what I'm doing. You're going to have to fly this on the way back. What? It's impossible. We couldn't have crossed all these lines without me seeing one. Well, we did, OK? The lines must have just faded over time. This great village was the capital for all of our tribes. This is where our people's history was buried. Cyclists attacked Earth. They sent out flying gas drones. Our ancestors must have made it out into these remote radiated areas, and the only reason they survived was because radiation has a lethal reaction with the cyclist breathing gas. And that was not good for them. That's good for us. Even if we fail, people will still be safe so long as they stay in these radiation areas. Well, they'll be safe areas. from being hunted, but radiation is also poisonous for humans. So you see, either way, if we don't take back our planet, the last of humanity becomes extinct. Based on what I've read about cyclo security, if we were to stage a revolt only using weapons that they don't perceive as any real threat, if we just use rocks and sticks, they're just gonna herd us together and throw us back in the cages. But we're gonna stage this revolt inside the dome. So the cyclos are gonna have to come inside the city to round us up. And that is when we blow the dome. Carlo's gonna blow the dome. They want to have breath masks on. They can't breathe. They all die. Carlo? Me? I'm gonna blow the dome. You're gonna blow the dome. Piece of cake. Piece of cake, piece of cake, piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what you have to remember is that as soon as we blow the dome, boom, stage two alone. What is that? Thousands of gas drones and troops are gonna be teleported down here. We can't fight against that. Then what's the point? If we kill all the monsters on Earth, they send more, we get wiped out. Well, the point is, we don't let it get to stage two. We're gonna destroy their home planet before it happens. Their home planet? 
their home planet. Uh, of course, we're gonna need some extra supplies before we can do that. So our first stop is a radiation bomb storage bunker and has everyone clear. Count us in. <laughs> Machines, Mickey. These are flying machines. No weapons of some kind. Flying spears. I think there's a little more to it than that. It's a learning machine. Just to fly. Out. You're right. It's like breaking a horse. You sure you can teach your men to fly this? Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Try to keep it level. Johnny, Johnny! This is think about one. Come on, come on! A nuclear firebomb! Piece of cake. According to the book, there's a firing mechanism that has to be in place before it's operational. Touch the auto sensor. What happens if we do? The bomb will explode. Big fire. <laughs> Look, greeners from this cave. Off, off, off. <sighs> War. Ning. Warning. 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 Get it? What does the auto sensor look like? Uh, there's an illustration in Appendix A. Jeez. What? What? We don't have Appendix A. More bush, Johnny. It's okay. I thought you said nuclear fires were powerful. It's not nuclear. Mickey! Sorry. You're sorry. Mickey! Would you stop touching things and turn off the damn light? Hey, leave it on me. Look. Good work, Mickey. You just found a panic, say. This be enough to blow up the whole planet. The radiation reacts with the planet's atmosphere. It's enough there to destroy it forever. Let me do it. Let me go to their planet and detonate the weapon. It's brave of you, Mickey, but it's my plan, so I go. Johnny, you're the only one who speaks the monster's language. You know things about them. Listen, without you leading this revolt, we might not succeed.
escape. Let's hope that their eye in the sky didn't see the gold through the lead walls of this cave. Start filling the cage. We'll hide half in the mountains. We'll deliver the other half to Turtle tonight. Why is it in bars? I assume, sir, that a cycle of your refinement wouldn't wouldn't settle for anything as coarse as raw ore. Really? Well, since you rat brains have had enough extra time to smelt it into bricks, I will now expect the rest of the gold in seven days. Must know he has no intention of sharing that gold with you. What the hell are you talking about? Now what are you even doing here? He's supposed to be mining the gold! You really think the only reason he made that recording was to have you as his patsy? Do you, Kerr? No. He has leverage over you, and it'll guarantee you never see an ounce. How the blast do you know about those recordings, man, Adam? It really is amazing the collection of discs you can find in Turrell's personal vault. First we trade the disc. I don't think so! Because if you don't give me the disc, right now, I will blow your head off. Cyclone charged him not wearing this collar anymore. After tonight, won't matter much either way. Johnny, I know you don't believe in fate, but I've always known this was going to be your destiny. This is our destiny. It's freedom for all of us, for our children. Children? Terminate the operation and cover our tracks. 
I've been thinking. 80-20 is a pretty fair distribution of the gold. But I should get the 80%. And with my share, I'm gonna fire all my wives and buy new ones. <laughs> Maybe pretty ones this time. <laughs> Kurt Bango. <laughs> Congratulations. You finally learned how to get proper leverage over someone, haven't you? Uh-huh. Which means that I haven't wasted my time trying to train you, have I? You're not upset. Oh, don't be crazy. <laughs> Do you know how long I've waited for this day? And I know just the perfect way to celebrate. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you can't shoot me. I made a copy and gave it to someone for safekeeping. You are just too good of a teacher. <laughs> how about giving your old teacher a clue as to who this might be? You insult yourself, sir. <laughs> You know you taught me better than that one. Well, how the hell am I supposed to know who it is? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it could be anybody on this damn planet. It could be a mechanic. No. It could be a concubine. No, no, no. It could, no, no, it could no. be anybody in the communications office. Wrong. I hate <laughs> these things. I, I feel like it's, like it's a test that I'm not prepared for. Well, hell, it could even be a friendly bartender. I made a mistake. Now, give me the original disc, then meet me at the teleportation platform in two hours. Sir? Johnny, control bunkers to the right. Three guards left! Guardhouse? One coming from the north. I'll take the two in the guardhouse. South, heavily armed and moving fast. They're between you and the bunker. Johnny! Carla, 
Explosives are set. Can I blow the dome? Get Mickey to cycle up first. They'll send down the gas truck. Well, hurry up. Just hurry up. Because I got company.
I've got to pull this dome now. We're teleporting Mickey in the bomb right now, Carl. Hang on. I'm seconds away. Johnny, come on. They're destroying the bombs. It's now or never. Now! Now, go ahead, blow the go! Go, go, go!
center. This is a stage three alert. I repeat, a stage three alert. Initiate the gas drone extermination sequence. Quite a challenge, Rat Brain. And you're going to make a hell of a conversation piece when you're stuffed and hanging on the wall of the Academy. Change it for my woman's life. I know my life is over, but surely hers is of no consequence to you. Thanks for reminding me, rat brain. Now, where is it? Trust me, you don't want to do that. Trust me, there's nothing I want more. Carlo came through. Don't you vaporize me. Leverage. If there are other cyclo colonies out there, they'll send out their gas drones and exterminate us. But if they learn that it was your greed that destroyed their home planet, Credits in the universe won't equal to the bounty that they put on your head.
<laughs> but there is one thing that you rat brains weren't smart enough to realize. Kill them! Teaching them all about our technology, they made me the head cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bright side. You may not be wallowing in luxury on Cyclo, but at least you finally got your goal. <laughs> Ha 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 